Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I'm gonna show y'all a little video on my alarm system installation. Uh, this isn't a how-to video, but rather this is a video just kind of showing some of the basic things of um, hooking up an alarm system. Um, this is my first install. Now, uh, first thing I did was mounted the, the speaker. You're gonna wanna put this away from uh, Try to get it furthest away from heat as possible, and you want to face your speaker down. Then that way, water and moisture won't pull up and damage your speaker. Um, you know, I just drilled a few holes and put some ties in, put a ground right here, and then I have my wire running across. Then it goes into. Let's see, I don't know if we can see that. Pull some light over. Alright, as you can see, I drilled two holes in my firewall, and um, that's why I brought one wire for the speaker, and then the other wire for the hood pin release. Uh, this is for safety, this hood pin. If the car is being serviced, and you know, you got somebody working on it, uh, this stops it from being able to, you know, engage the automatic start function. Uh, somebody might be in a you know shop or something saying hey what this button do and next thing you know you got a guy down here getting something chopped off so that's important <laughs> for that whenever um, it's up it's uh it's grounding itself and whenever the hood closes it pushes down and the ground goes away then that way it allows the uh, automatic start to work there we go okay and this looks like just a big mess of wires, which uh, it really is. It's probably going to take me some time to get everything tightened up with zip ties and get everything mounted. But uh, I'm just going to kind of explain some of these parts here. Alright, this here is the main uh, brain, I guess you could call it. And, uh, you know, this is where pretty much this controls the vehicle, pretty much right there. Uh, alarm and everything, as far as that goes. All right, this is uh, this controls the remote start. All these wires coming out of here are going into the ignition and you know power and things like that. And uh, without this, there'd be no remote starting. Now this is a uh, shock sensor. Uh, you might be able to see little lights in there. When it's a, a red light, it would indicate it's a hard enough shock to actually set off the alarm. And then a green. See that. A green would be it's uh, it would chirp. This is uh, the antenna, and also it has a button for valet mode. Uh, this would be mounted uh, up behind the rearview mirror. Uh, stay out of the driver's view, which is my wife. <laughs> well, I drive this car sometime too. Uh, so that's that. Let me show you some of what's connected. All right, this is one thing that was really confusing because I had a sheet. All right, when you when you do this, the alarm system is not going to come with a with a step by step uh, type of uh, instructions. That's just going to show you, you know, from point A to from A to Z, you know, on what to do. It's going to say, for instance, this is pretty much what you're going to get. Let's see. All right, like brown white. All right, brown white wire is just going to go to the horn output. So you're like, okay what the heck is a horn output so you need to get your tech sheet for your particular car and horn output horn it's going to be blue and then that's in a 40 pin uh plug harness so you're like okay what the heck is that and these are all the things i had to learn for myself and really didn't find anybody to tell me I'm gonna show you what the heck they're talking about when they're saying a 40 pin harness. Well, it's really kind of hard to see, but, um, all right, I, there's my 40 pin harness. 
and to try to, to be able to identify them it's called if it's if it's a harness that has you know 15 slots in it for 15 wires it'll be called a 15 slot harness if it has 40 slots for 40 wires even though it might have 38 wires in it it's still called a 40 pin so you need to find your 40 pin or whatever it's telling you to find and uh, hook up those wires accordingly and uh, it's very hard to get to it's so hard you're thinking like it's no freaking way I'm in even, even in the right spot but uh now once I had proper instruction hooking up the remote start is actually the easiest part um, one odd thing for my paper for my um, the Grand Vitar tech sheets told me the starter is a black and white wire I mean black and yellow and then the ignition is black and yellow so you're like okay what goes to what now I finally found somewhere on a form that the 16 gauge was the starter that that's uh, accessory three and people who are familiar with that and the 12 gauge was a um, 14 I can't remember the bigger one was the actual uh, ignition ignition one when you touch your brake your brake lights in the back come on the same signal that's telling your car to turn on those lights is going to tell the automatic start to turn off now some if you have your car automatic started and somebody busts the window jumps in the car they think they're going to drive away from the put the car in drive they're going to have to press the brake and if they press the brake the car is going to die so now they're back to step one all right now here's another tip when you're working with your car's factory wires it's always best to never cut them you don't want to just strip some away and i'm going to show you how to do this you take a wire stripper like so and these are really cheap i mean you pick them up for just a couple dollars just put the wire stripper on the wire and just pull the trigger see what that did that just stripped some wire away so now what you can do now the best way to do this is actually split this open. Now you can take any uh, object that's you know kind of sharp like this, and you can go right through the wires, separate it like that, and then you take your wire that's from your alarm system, put it through that, and then just twist that around. All right. Then you solder that. You know, once you solder that, you put your tape on it, and it's not gonna come loose. It's gonna be there. And then that way, you never have to uh, cut any wires. Alarm. All right. Doors locked. And the little LED that I installed is bright and it's on. And my little page reveal is not coming to focus, but it says arm. All right, now this is blinking. Uh, you know, let's let any possible thief to know there's an alarm on this car. And you know, you just hold it down for four seconds. And the car started. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, again, let's say I'm a thief, and I'm like, oh, shoot, they left their car running. I'm about to jump in. So I go in. All right, now um, now, you got everything all put back together. Steering column. Got all these pieces back on. My uh, actual brain is all under this uh, panel right here. Then also the shock uh, sensor. Shock sensor is about here. And the brain is there. I ran the antenna. All the way up through here, from the cross, and there's the antenna right there. 